I want to step back from advanced trading and show you the complete basics of option trading and how I would go about it if I had to start all over with very little money. Here's a couple strategies and simple steps to make this happen. Now again, this is if I was a complete beginner. This is also a good strategy for more advanced traders as well that are looking to grow a small account. I'm not a financial advisor, just an ex Goldman Sachs financial analyst. And I have a finance degree that just sits in my parents' basement. Gathering dust that cost me, I mean, is worth $300,000. As a beginner, holding a call option is like entering a casino for the first time and gambling for free. You think that the call option can go to the moon, but that isn't true. When you get into a stock with a bullish flag, you want to protect your profits. As you can see, the bullish flag pattern is when a stock moves sideways and then breaks out against resistance level. For example, say that you bought a call option for $100. During an uptrend, you hold this call option a few minutes or an hour and it's now $150. You don't know how high it will move. The smartest thing that you can do is set a limit sell order now if the call option hits $120. $25. This way you will at least make $25. I check the call option again in an hour and say it's at $165 now. I would readjust my limit sell higher to say $150 now. So now I'm leaving with $50 at the worst case scenario. I would keep increasing my limit sell order higher until I actually get stopped out of the call option. At some point, the stock will retrace. It isn't easy to find a peak, but it is easy to set a limit sell order and take your profits a little bit under the current price. The biggest mistake mistake is traders try to hold a call option into infinity. Something you need to understand as a beginner is that a call option is a depreciating asset. If it doesn't rise, it loses value. The value of an option loses value every day and a short term option loses value even faster. For that reason, as a beginner or even intermediate trader, I would ride a call option as it increases in value carefully, placing limit sell orders to take profit should it reverse its trend. What I would do now is I would target to have a few positions make $100 a day. Breaking this down into goals, you can have one call option go from $100 to $200. That's fine. However, it's not that easy to double one trade a day. There is no consistency to that. It's also dangerous because you're always one step away from losing 100% of your investment. Instead, I would make many very small bets using the call option buying strategy on a stock that showcases a bull flag pattern. I would look at the one day chart. However, if I was busy and I didn't have time because of school, work or life, I would then use the same strategy, but I would only monitor each trade twice a day. I would spend 30 minutes finding a stock with this pattern, place a trade, then check back later and set a limit sell order to take profit. Another thing I would do is incorporate a limit sell right away when I establish the position. So say the call option is $100. I would set a limit sell at $90 so I could not lose more than 10% of the premium that I pay for the call option. My goal would be to get an exit of $120 or higher. At $125, I would set that as my new limit sell. That way I have a gain potential of $25, but a max loss potential of only $10. That is the active trading approach I would take. The other approach that I would take would be to buy call options, but with a little longer term date. I would specifically target companies I have done research on and have a positive trend. I then buy call options on stocks that would have earnings included. Here's how I did this on Lululemon before earnings. To put in context, I bought a call option before earnings and I did it right where the stock was trading at, which was $390 per share at the time. I closed this option and explained to you how to take profit and close this position properly. All right, guys, so let's take a look at my screen right here. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do with Lululemon and Lululemon is up 288%. So if I click into here, it was pretty wise for me to pick the 392 and a half strike. And that's because it was already very close to the money. So if Lulu was going to rise, this option had a higher delta. So had I gone for a 400 call or a 405 or a 410 call, that would have less delta. And sure, I would also make a really good amount of money, but I wanted a higher delta option because I wanted some something near the money because in last episode, Goldman Sachs recommended that you buy an option that is near the money. So I went for the nearest money option on Lulu and that was a $960 investment and the break even price was $402. So what's really important right here is first of all, I'm going to close it, but then I'm going to explain what my logic and thought process is behind closing this option. So basically this option is actually up 286% and I was pretty much down on the option in total. It was actually down 50% and I was really thinking about closing it. I asked the private group members what they thought and they said that I should hold and we basically decide as a group that we're going to be holding the Lululemon calls and it ended up being very good and that's the power of having a collective community by the way. So I was down 50% on the option but today it's up 531% because well Lulu stock went absolutely parabolic. I mean if I actually open up Lulu stock real fast on Yahoo Finance I'm actually going to do some technical analysis here. So Lululemon is currently $429 per share. If I go to the chart right here 
here, I'm pretty sure that we are now in oversold territory and we are way above what the Bollinger Band and the RSI predicted for this stock. This is very interesting right here because actually the RSI is not that hot. So technically I can still hold Lululemon and ride it a little bit longer. The top of the Bollinger Band range was actually $433. However, I'm super happy with this call option performance. And for me, I'm going to close it out right now. And the reason why I'm going to close it out right now is because closing out options is really an art. It really depends on your emotions, how you feel. So you need to predetermine how much money you want to make before you actually enter a position. Because if you don't know how much you want to make, or you don't have a goal in mind when you buy options, then you'll pretty much always get greedy because you'll never know when to close. So before you open up a position, for me, when I opened up the 392 and a half call option, it was really just to see how earnings would play out. So for me, I've already played out the scenario that I wanted. It's currently Thursday, it's 1030 AM. So we're one hour into the market. Sure, Lululemon can rise more or it could fall. But for me, I want to lock in this profit right now because you guys can see we're near the top of the Bollinger Band range. Sure, we can touch it, but I don't really want to play the game of, hey, can I make a little bit extra money? Because I'm already really happy with the amount that we made here. The RSI isn't super high, so I'm not really worried. If someone was more of a risk taker, I would probably recommend that you ride Lululemon higher. However, for me, it's going to be a close right now. All right, so sell to close. And that's really interesting because I'm usually always buying to close, but now I'm going to sell to close. I'm going to put in one contract right here. And then the limit price is between 36.20 and 37.40. I obviously want to take my time here because the bid ask spread is pretty far apart. So I don't want to rush. I'm going to put in 36.70 and see if I can get filled here. And then if I don't, I'm actually just going to see if I can um, tweak it around a bit, but let's just first see, will we get filled? Not yet. So 36.70 was asking for a little bit too much. So let's go with 36.35 review order and let's submit it. Boom. And we just sold the call option for Lululemon for 36.35 after buying it for $960. I'm going to put the percentage return after closing it on the screen right here. And that was the episode two's results for the option trading series. We are so far on fire and I'm excited to continue going. I'm so what you just saw was an example of taking profit right after earnings. As a beginner, I would take profit when it hit 2x return and find a new opportunity. With earnings, I would close the option right after the event happened. Here's exactly why this works. So now let's get to the exciting part and let me explain the Goldman Sachs strategy that they say will double your money in a single week. Traders who have pursued a strikingly simple strategy for earnings season have cashed in big. Goldman Sachs option research team has long advocated buying calls on stocks set to report earnings. Simply put, and you know, I mean simply call, I should probably say, the average stock rises on earnings, so calls are profitable. But is it that simple? And how do you actually implement some best practices? Because, well, if it were that easy, wouldn't every single person just be doing that? The strategy of buying calls across the board has produced on average profit of 14% and was profitable in each of the 19 years studied. Goldman Sachs team reported in an earlier note, although they took pains to add that the strategy doesn't necessarily adequately compensate investors for the risk that they're taking, on buying barrels of cash worth of calls. In the early days of this earnings period, however, those pursuing a pure call buying strategy have enjoyed an incredible return. So one method they are recommending is right before earnings, you purchase options. Investors who bought calls on the first 13% of the companies to report earnings have seen a return of 105% on the premium that they laid out. Goldman's Catherine Fogarty, John Marshall, and Vishal Vivek said in the report. They looked specifically at calls with strike prices that were close to prices of the stock and set to expire in the near future. So in this video, I'm going to be using this strategy. And the interesting part is that it's on the first 13% of companies or basically fresh into the earnings season companies that are about to report. And in the research report, they had this example. For instance, when BlackRock was trading at about $335 per share, two days before its pre-bell earnings report, the April 340 strike call could have been snatched up for just $3. Now BlackRock then rose on its earnings report and three days after that hypothetical purchase, Goldman is saying, this was a couple years ago, by the way, the option expired at a value of $18. So that's a 500% return in under a week. So of course I can see how even one of these big wins could skew the entire returns.
But are there really enough of these huge wins to compensate an option trader for all of the options that are going to lose 100%? Not every trade will work out that well, especially because the example was a slightly out of the money option. Now, Goldman's strategy was undoubtedly benefited from the general rise in the stock market over the course of the very strong earnings season because you know we've been in a bull market for a number of years now, pretty much going on a decade. But the option research team say a general call buying strategy will continue to be a winning one given the general nature of the market sentiment. So this strategy is dependent on the market sentiment. Well, wouldn't that be a surprise? Not all strategies work all the time. Anyways, there's no way to predict the market or guarantee anything, but if I wanted to make $100 a day on average and I had a small portfolio, this seems the best way to do that. I'm going to be sending more research on this strategy in a week with some plays. Make sure to sign up for the free email newsletter in the description where I can send you some emails and I'll see you in the next one.